Hey guys, so this is going to be a MAC Cosmetics starter kit video. This was requested tons of times. I originally wasn't going to do this because there was tons of MAC starter kit videos on YouTube already. So I wasn't going to do it. I was just like, well you guys can go to those videos. But I was requested this a lot and a lot of my subscribers still want me to do this video. So this is for them. Um, it might be kind of similar to the other MAC starter kit videos here on YouTube because these are just like really good products. So I hope you guys like this and I hope it helps you. You don't have to buy everything that I show you here. Um, it's basically just what I recommend. You can kind of choose from it and pick what you want and stuff like that. So let's get started. First I'm going to start off with face. I think I'm going to go face, eyes, and lips, and then brushes. Okay, so I have their Studio Sculpt Concealer, and it just comes in a pot like this, and I didn't really like this, but I'm starting to like it again. This isn't my color, this is NW20, and it's too light for me, but I think I'm just going to get a darker color because I do really like it. It does cover up a lot. It is kind of drying, but it still does work very good. So I recommend getting one of their concealers. I really like Studio Sculpt. I have tried Studio Finish, um, and that one's pretty good too, but I really, really like Studio Sculpt. Okay, next for face is the Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. It's a very good powder for like after your foundation, or sometimes I just use it like as my foundation. Sometimes I won't even wear foundation, and I'll just put this on, and it just gives you a very natural look. And I have it in medium plus, which might be a little bit too light for me, I think. But it's going to start getting winter. So my skin is going to lighten up, so I'll be able to wear this a lot more. But I really recommend getting a mineralized skin finish natural. I've had this one for maybe over two months or something. And I still haven't even made a big dent in it. So I really recommend getting a mineralized skin finish natural. Um... It gives your face a very natural look. You will not regret buying this product. Um, it doesn't harm my skin in any way. It's just very, very nice. It gives me pretty good coverage. So this is something I definitely recommend looking out for, for like a first MAC product. For blush, there's one blush that I really like and I think that will go good on every skin tone. And that is Well Dressed. And this is a satin. It's just a really like light baby pink. And I have kind of dark skin, and I thought this would be a little bit too light for me. And if I just put one swipe of this blush on, it's a little bit light, but you can kind of put on how much you want and deepen it up. So I think this blush is really good for all skin tones. You don't have to get this one. You can kind of pick any blush you want. But if you're really not sure on which blush to get, I recommend getting Well Dressed. Okay, for eyes, you need like a primer or a base before you put on your eyeshadow. MAC has paint pots, and these are just like kind of a eyeshadow base that will make your eyeshadow stay on long, prevent it from creasing, and make the color pop. I really recommend checking out Painterly. This is just like a skin tone color. Um, it's like no shimmer or anything. This is good for all of your looks. It will go with every single thing, so... I recommend getting that one or checking out Rubenesque. Rubenesque is a very pretty like gold pink. So I recommend getting either Painterly or Rubenesque because they will go good with a lot of different looks. Um, make it stay on longer and these are just amazing. I love paint pots. I think these are about $16.50. They're definitely, definitely worth investing in. Um, paint pots are like my favorite thing ever. So. Um, again, I really recommend choosing from Rubenesque or Painterly. You can pick any one you want, but I think these are great ones for, like, your first paint pot because they will go good with everything. For eyeshadow, I have three eyeshadows that I recommend getting. Um, first is All That Glitters. This is just a very pretty, like, light brown with shimmer. This goes good with everything. Sometimes I'll just put this all over my lid and be done. This eyeshadow, you can never go wrong with. And another one that I like is Mulch. This is like a brown with shimmer. This is my favorite brown eyeshadow right now. And I just really like this one. And I also really like Brulee, which is a satin. This is the one that I use for my highlight most of the time. This is like my favorite highlight color. So I would really recommend wearing all that glitters on the lid. 
Mulch in the Crease and Brulee um, as a highlight. I think those colors would go really good together and just to make it really nice and it's a good everyday look if you just can have three eyeshadows to pick from and you can also get a fourth eyeshadow for like an outer corner. For eyeliners, I don't wear MAC eyeliners because they irritate my eyes very badly but they don't irritate most people's eyes so you can check out their eyeliners. Um, I know that the eye coals are waterline safe and the technical liners are waterline safe so you can go check those out. As for mascaras, MAC mascaras, I do not like MAC mascaras. I've had a sample of the Zoom Lash Mascara and they're just watery, they clump, they don't do anything for my lashes. So I would actually recommend getting a drugstore mascara, something like Maybelline's Pulse Perfection or L'Oreal Telescopic or CoverGirl Lash Blast, um, but I do not recommend getting a MAC mascara. Okay, for lips, it's kind of, lips is kind of different because different lip colors look good on different people. So I can't really choose that for you. That's something you can like choose for yourself. But a lipstick that I do recommend getting is Angel. And this is a frost. This is one of my first MAC lipsticks. And it's just a very pretty pink. I really recommend getting this one. I think it would go good with a lot of skin tones and... Yeah, I just really like this one. I find myself wearing this one a lot. As far as lip gloss goes, I really like Max Luster Glass and Love Nectar, which I don't have with me because it's somewhere in the other room. But I had it in my last tutorial, so you can go check that out. It's just a very pretty peachy color, and it will go good with everything. And I also like Max Lip Gloss and She's a Star. This is just a very nude color, but I think this is sold out online, so I'm really, really sorry. But if you can, but if you can find this anywhere, I really recommend getting it for a first MAC lip gloss because it's just a very pretty nude color with shimmer. For brushes, um, an eyeshadow brush that I really recommend is the MAC 217, which mine is dirty right now, but I really recommend this one because it's a very versatile brush. You can flip it on its belly and do lid colors and then you can do crease colors, outer corner, there's a lot you can do with this brush. If you can only get one brush, like for eyeshadow, I recommend the 217. get two brushes, um, I really like the 239 for lid colors. Um, this is an amazing brush for lid colors so I really recommend this. And I also like the 224. This is good for crease, outer corner, blending, and highlight. So this is a very versatile brush as well. But if you can only get one eyeshadow brush, I really recommend getting the 217. Um, for blush, I love the 129. This is my favorite blush brush ever. Um, I don't know, I just love this brush a lot. It applies blush very good. It's super soft, so I really recommend investing in this brush. So that's pretty much all I have to recommend to you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope this helped you because a lot of people have requested for me to do this. So this is just kind of stuff that I recommend getting for, like, if you're going to MAC and you have a certain amount to spend, you can kind of pick through some stuff that I showed you in this video and pick out what you like best. Also, follow me on Twitter and my blog. I'll have both links in the sidebar. And that's it. Bye, guys.